Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll talk about a condition that sometimes worries parents when they see it for the first time. A swelling on a newborn baby's head called cephalhematoma. I'll explain why it happens, how we identify it, what treatment is needed, and when to worry. This video is for educational purposes only, especially for parents, medical students, and healthcare professionals who want to understand neonatal head swellings in detail. Here we have a newborn baby admitted in our nursery. The baby was delivered normally, but the parents noticed a soft swelling on one side of the baby's head right after birth. Naturally, they became anxious, thinking, is it dangerous? When I examined the baby, I found that the swelling was soft, well-defined, and located over one side of the skull, not crossing the midline. These are classical signs of cephalhematoma. So, let's understand what this condition really is. Cephalo meaning head, hematoma meaning collection of blood. So simply put, it is a collection of blood beneath the periosteum, that is, between the baby's skull bone and the thin covering over it called the periosteum. This bleeding happens because of pressure or trauma during delivery, especially if the labor was prolonged, if forceps or vacuum were used, or if the baby's head had to squeeze tightly through the birth canal. During delivery, especially in first-time mothers or difficult labors, the baby's head undergoes a lot of pressure. The skull bones overlap slightly to help the baby pass through the birth canal, a process called molding. In some cases, small blood vessels under the scalp can rupture, leading to a localized collection of blood under the periosteum, and that's cephalhematoma. On examination, cephalhematoma feels firm at first but may become fluctuant over a few days. It's usually over the parietal bone, and as I mentioned, here's the good news. Cephalhematoma usually requires no specific treatment. It resolves spontaneously within two to eight weeks as the body slowly reabsorbs the collected blood. Parents often ask, Doctor, should we drain it? The answer is no, never try to puncture or drain it. That can lead to infection or abscess formation. Although rare, some complications can occur, such as infection, if someone mistakenly tries to drain or massage it. The calcification, where the swelling becomes firm or bony as calcium deposits form. Anemia or jaundice due to blood breakdown. Even then, most babies recover completely with no long-term effects. Parents should just follow up regularly and stay patient. For medical students and nurses watching this, remember, cephalhematoma is a clinical diagnosis that needs patience, not panic. Your observation and counseling skills matter more than medicines. Always check for jaundice, hemoglobin level if large swelling, head circumference, any signs of infection, and most importantly, document the findings well for follow-up. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more educational neonatal and pediatric content.